Hi, everyone. George Kapalis here at number 15, Money Earner and Stream. And for those of you that don't know me, I got started Stream about three years and nine months ago. This is my first network marketing business I've ever done. Uh, my career before was a landscape owner, and I ran my family's day spa. With the economy, I decided to go back to college. I got my degree, which I could not find a job in. And uh, luckily, uh, Stream came to me. I was prepared. I believe that luck is one opportunity meets preparation. I was prepared. And I took advantage of it, and I ran with it. And within 18 months, I was the number 20 money earner in the company, uh, one of the fastest money earners in network marketing to do that. And currently, I'm number 15. And I'm excited because I'm at a point now where the company, as we know, is into mobile. We're nationwide. Uh, I did a lot of self-development. I did a lot of uh, reading and watching videos. And I did a lot of training like this. So tonight, I'm going to go over a quick training for somebody that's brand new or somebody who's been in and kind of – uh, needs a refresher course, this is going to help you with that. Uh, and because of stream, I have now two careers. I have a career of a professional network marketer, and my money has a career. I get to invest in real estate, uh, which is exciting because I always wanted to have two careers, which was to invest in real estate, and I never could do it. Uh, so this training will help you go up to the right start, hopefully help you become a network marketing professional and help you one day maybe have two careers where your money that you make from stream can actually help you make more money in life. So let's get started here. I'm excited to do this. I love doing training. I love teaching people things. The first, the first thing we're going to go over is how do you join the business. Uh, if you're looking at this for the first time and maybe you're not in the business, you're going to go to your sponsor's website, the person that sent you to see the information. Sponsor just means it's a person who, who – gave you the information for the first time. And when you join the business, they become your sponsor. They basically become the person that got you involved in the business. Uh, you go to the website, you see your sponsor's name, you click, uh, then you're going to click join stream. And then when you click join stream, you're going to fill out the enrollment form. The enrollment form is very simple. Yeah, you're going to uh, make a password for your back office, which is where you can control your business. You're going to scroll through the little agreement. And if you don't scroll through the agreement, you can't hit the submit button. The submit button won't allow you to submit it until you enroll everything completely, and then also scroll through a little contract that's there, okay? And basically, now you have your own website. And your website is going to have whatever you like it to have. Mine's GK. Uh, you can use your initials, your name. I would not use anything like uh, Princess Pony or, you know, Super Happy. I, I would try to keep something that's a little more professional, that's simple, uh, and, and name it. And you can always change it too, okay? So that's what you do. You have your own website now. Now you can become your own customer. You can go here to mobile and become a mobile customer. You can send somebody to your website. They can actually uh, look at the mobile rates. You can send somebody to your website. They can look at your energy rates. Or you can simply go there and say, look, I need a favor. Would you be my energy customer? Would you be my mobile customer? Can I show you, you know, what I have to offer? And then get them as a customer. Energy is uh, free to do. It doesn't cost them any money. Uh, they can switch for free. And PPNL where I live, it's called PPNL Utilities. You can keep budget billing. You can keep government assistance. You keep the same account number. Nothing changes. Uh, the only difference is that you're going to see Stream's name on the bill. In Texas and Georgia, it's done a little bit different. Uh, Stream actually does the billing out there. But in the Northeast, uh, we don't do the billing. Uh, the same utility company does the billing. And it's very simple. Again, it's free. It takes two minutes online, and nothing changes. Oh, and the person saves money. That's besides the point. The point is they're helping you out. Mobile, again, they're saving money. The family share plans are great. Uh, we should be able to save, from what I've seen, I've been able to save money on 99% of the people that I've approached with the mobile. Uh, it is, member. there's no contracts. Uh, we don't automatically charge you for a gigabyte of, of service. If you go over a couple of megabytes, we charge you 1.5 cents per megabyte. Uh, we also offer GSM and CDMA. GSM works with T-Mobile and AT&T. You can come right over from AT&T and T-Mobile. Uh, as long as you don't have a contract, you can basically bring your phone right over. You can port your number in. Our family share plans have great rates. Uh, you can become your own customer in your own business, save money, and make money. And then we have the CDMA. It's for anybody who has a uh, Sprint uh, service that wants to be on Sprint, and then they have a non-active Sprint phone, or they can go to, let's say, the Apple Store and get a Sprint-designated CDMA phone. They can port their number over also, and they can have service with CDMA. Uh, so uh, both of them are for GLTE. I've uh, been with them now. My family has switched over, and we love it. We can't tell the difference other than that we're saving money. Uh, to acquire a customer, every company has a activation fee. Ours is one of the lowest in the industry, <clears throat> being $35. So that's how that works. It's very simple. We have the ability now to also uh, purchase phones through Stream. I believe we're soon going to have um, lease to own, which is pretty exciting. You'll be able to lease your phone. Uh, and you know, make little payments on it every month rather than having to buy the phone right out. And that's how that works, guys. That's a little bit of the information that somebody for the first time uh, who might be watching this might have questions about how does that work. 
uh, you will get a stream bill for your mobile. And they'll contact whoever you're with. If you're with, uh, let's say, Sprint or AT&T or T-Mobile, whoever you're with, they'll contact the company and let them know that you've you know, moved over. You don't have to call, call anybody. And that's the way it works. Now, what if you have a contract? Well, you have a couple of choices. One, you could basically uh, stay with the contract and you can just wait. Uh, or you can start making money with streaming and then say, you know what, I'm making great money. I'm just going to cancel the cancellation fee because I'm going to support my business. It's been a couple of months and I feel com comfortable doing that now. You could always um, sell your phone and pay off your cancellation fee with the cost of the phone because that's what they're really contracting you with. And they can always move over to the stream side and if you have decent credit, get a new phone with no money down. If you have uh, an issue with your credit, put a small uh, payment on the phone and, and, and pay every month, okay? And I know in about 13 months from now, you can upgrade to a new phone or you can continue to pay the phone. So that's how the phone works. That's how the energy works, and it's very simple. And it's just a matter of requesting for service, okay? Now, here's how the points work. One point is for a 3 gig plan of an individual plan with our mobile wireless or a 10 gig family share plan. Any electricity in Texas or Northeast is one point. Georgia Gas is one point. And the protective services, when you get all three that we mentioned earlier, which was identity theft protection, tech support, and credit monitoring, you get a full point. To earn a half a point, if any plan for individual mobile that's two gigs or less, uh, half a, uh, each, each family share plan, each line is a half a point. Now, if you do five gigs instead of 10 gigs for the family share plan, you're getting a half a point. Northeast Gas customers, a half a point. Two of the three protective services combined is a half a point. And if you want to help save the environment and uh, have less dependency on foreign oil, create more wind turbine farms, and uh, have a better environment for your children, you can always get a renewable energy certificate, which will help uh, basically set your, offset your own carbon footprint. And those are available, too. And a lot of people like those because they like, you know, helping the country. So there's a lot of ways to get points, Okay. Let's take a look at what we have to do in the business. All we're really doing, guys, is teaching people how to make 100 bucks. That's it. That's as simple as I can make it for you. You help somebody turn on their website. You help them name it. You help them become their own customer and then find two other customers for a total of three. Most people, though, with mobile can get more than one customer for home. With energy, most people have one energy meter. But I'm noticing that people have two to five mobile devices per home, and now with protective services, most people can get qualified within their home, I think, without even having to ask anybody for a favor, and that's the goal of the business. Get qualified, teach other people to get qualified. Here's a perfect example how you can do it with just mobile, an individual plan. So you join the business, you're, let's say, the lady in the pink shirt, red shirt, you sign up for the individual three-gig plan, you get a point, your husband signs up for a two-gig plan, you get a half a point, both your kids uh, sign up for a three-gig plan, and now you just made three and a half points, plus your website's two, you're at 5.5 points, you're qualified, you got your first check. Uh, in the month of May, it would actually be $300 because they're offering you $300 in the month of May for your first three customers. Every month it changes, okay? And you're going to uh, notice that when you do this, uh, you really didn't have to do anything other than change your provider to your own company. You're not really changing your buying behaviors and not having to pay for more stuff. It's uh, why I love this business, okay, and it can be done very simple. Now, let's take a look at how it would work out with a family share plan. Family share plan would basically be uh, you and your family on the same plan, your son's on um, the line, your daughter, yourself, your, your husband, and you're doing a 10-gig plan. You get a point for it being 10 gigs, and then for each line, remember, it's a half a point for each line, giving you three points. You're qualified, plus the website's two. There's five points. Here's your quick start five again, okay? Very, very simple to do. Now, the, the, the goal is to get everybody promoted to RD, which is by having them get qualified and teaching two individuals to also get qualified. Remember, if they do this in less than 30 days, they get a bonus because they become a regional director with an uh, you know, immediate action, and we reward them for immediate action. So they have a total of $400, and they also get the free tablet. Now, May has different promotions. Member of May is different. Now, Let's take a look at <clears throat> what happens when you do this and you want to continue to make more money, you want to continue to build more teams. At this point, guys, you've made some money. In May, you, you would have made a 1000 Uh You have some credibility now. People that might have maybe been avoiding you because they're like, oh, they're doing something, I'm scared. You know, When, when people don't K-N-O-W, they usually say N-O, okay? And I had somebody tonight who told her sister, it's called Stream and it's this, and she started sending them um, things from Facebook. She, she did the right thing in her mind. I mean, it's not a bad thing. That's the same thing I would have done. I remember mean, when I prospected her four years ago, I pretty much vomited her on her about the business. But it's so much easier to say, look, 
Take a look at this webinar, eight minutes or 12 minutes. Take a look at this video. If you're interested, let me know. Now they're interested. Now you get them to a meeting or you get them on the phone with somebody or you send them a video like this. It's so much easier than saying, hey, it's called stream and this is what you got to do. And well, let me, you know, let me, let me Google it. Let me see what somebody said. Oh, this person said he failed. Oh, this person failed, so I'm not going to do it. The point is, I was trying to explain, like, it's like, if you, like, for example, like, I'm not perfect. Okay, I have a lot of flaws, but I'm not going to go on a date with somebody and tell them all my flaws or, or, or I'm going to have somebody gossip about me that doesn't like me. Imagine somebody that's gossiping about you to somebody that's, protect, that's a potential person you want to date and, and be in a relationship with. You know, I'm going to, you know, meet that person, let them see me face to face, let them talk to me. That way they learn to like me for what they really saw, the real facts. I and mean, then if somebody gossips about me or somebody tries to tell them about maybe mistakes or flaws that I had in my past, they're not going to judge me for that. And I use a lot of real-life situations in life as I do with stream. You know, if somebody's going to go and try to do their own research without actually seeing a credible source in front of them or somebody who's actually made money to prove it, not somebody who's a joker on, on Google who maybe is lazy – um, so my, 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 my important thing to you guys is to get people to find the information. And once you can do this and get qualified and become a regional director, now you have that credibility and now you have the, you've learned from your mistakes. Like tonight I taught her, like, don't do that again. Just say, hey, look, are you looking for some extra income? Uh, you know, what is it about? It's about making money. And boom, give her, the, give her the actual facts. Show her the plan. Bring me there. Get on a webinar. And now you're going to try to do it again. You're going to try to go out and get two business partners. And now you're going to teach those two to build their own little team. They're going to get their own two business partners. Guys, it's a total of eight people. At this point, you're promoted to managing director. You get a 25-cent raise on any, every, every customer in your managing director organization to unlimited levels. It doesn't stop at five. Keep in mind, by the way, I didn't tell you this, but you promote the regional director. <clears throat> you're actually getting a 10-cent raise on every energy, every protective service, every mobile account in your RD code, which is regional director code, to unlimited levels. You've now made $1,100 in the month of May. You're actually going to make possibly uh, a lot more because you have a lot more promotions in May. This is, the standard, this is the standard compensation plan. And you actually earn a gift card for $250 towards the purchase of the phone or towards the, 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 the payment on your cell phone bill with Stream, okay? And very simple. So you did a U and two here. You got five points and two associates. And you just did it one more time, five more points and two associates. And you got your little team growing, guys. Keep in mind, this team is going to continue to grow. It's going to make your original income five levels deep. This team is going to continue to grow, and you're going to make 25, 25, 25 throughout this team and residual income uh, on that team too, 10 cent raise on every account. So fairly exciting. And if you do that in less than 60 days, you can see what you can do. It's pretty exciting. Now, let's take a look at understanding your why, which is really important in business. You know, money to me is an end result. I talk about a scenario that I, I tell people all the time. Imagine having a child that, you, you know, your child, and imagine, well, imagine being in New York City right now, and imagine uh, there's uh, two high-rises, and there's a piece of wood that goes across, like a four-by-four four or maybe four-by-eight, and somebody says to you, look, there's $500 on the other side of that tower. I want you to walk across that tower and get that $500. They're going to say, no way. I'm not going to go 1,000 feet in the air and fall off for 500 bucks. If somebody puts your kid there and said, the only way to get your kid back is by going over there and, and you know, walking across that plank, everybody would walk across that plank to get their child back. Why? It's the same tower, same height, same piece of wood. What changed? One is the money, which is an end result, and one is your child, which is a why. You have to have a why in this business. You have to have something that, you know, when it gets challenging, you actually think about. Um, in my opinion, you need two things. You need a why, you need some of the things that you want to prove in life. For me, it was, you know, wanting to prove people in my life. I won't say who. I don't want to put anybody on the spot. But there's people in my life. Some of them were family. Some of them were uh, family that was added to my family, and they said things to me, and people said to me things in school that I would never be able to do this or that or that, and I've always thought about them. So when I, when my back's against the wall and I want to have success, I think about those who said I couldn't do something, those who told me I wouldn't amount to something. So for me, it's always been a why to help my family, help myself, have better things in life, and also to prove people wrong. That's what works for me. Now, when do you want to achieve a body? I'm going to tell you right now, in life, you cannot hit a target that you can't see. So put down a date that you're going to achieve something, okay? I do something called, uh, well, there's a lot of different techniques that I use, but one of the techniques is asking you to write down 10 goals for the year and then asking you to look at those 10 goals and find one that would change your life the most dramatically if you could have that tomorrow. And then take that one goal and flip it over, flip the piece of paper over right on top and write a date that you're going to, you're going to accomplish that goal by and, and then 
you know, do something every single day small to achieve that goal. And you'll be surprised when you, when you actually put a target out there uh, that you can see, you can actually hit it, okay? Who do you want to help in life, you know? For me, I want to help the whole world. I, I want to – I know one day I'll be audited, and I know that I can look back and say, you know what, I left an impact on this world. I, I, I wasn't just self-absorbed. It wasn't just about me. It was about changing a lot of people's lives. And it's the best feeling in the world uh, when you can do a business where you're helping people and it's changing your life too. So it's, it's, understand your why. Contact list, uh, you'll see here uh, they have a contact list. I made a contact list my first day. I put a, a lot of names on it from my phone, from Facebook, from high school, from college, from jobs that I have, from karate class, anything I could think of. I even used a memory jogger, which you can download online. And I got a lot of names on there, and I just started asking people, are you looking for anything exciting to do this year? Are you looking for another way to make money? Do you keep your career options open? Um, you know, are, are you looking to meet some new people? And I just asked them a question, and those that said yes, I said, I have something i got to share with you. I got them in front of the information. I made mistakes, though. I started talking about energy and, and you know, to you and two, and a lot of people were like, no. Guys, here's the thing. The crazy part is my mom came to me and told me, what it was about, and I said no to her. I wasn't interested. And then I went out and did the same thing she did. Once I saw the video, or once I saw the presentation, I was in. And I should have just did the same thing. I should have just said, hey, listen, I got something really exciting to show you when you have 15 minutes. Uh, today I did a presentation, and today I did a three-way call with Kim, actually, in Arizona. She showed the plan. She got me on the phone, and I answered questions. I mean, it was that simple. It was that simple. But if you can get somebody in front of it, and they actually see the power of it, you have a lot better chance than you trying to explain it. It'd be like me going to your job, you showing me how to run an ice cream parlor for 30 minutes and then expecting me the next day to run that ice cream parlor or expecting me to convince people to come serve soft ice cream and try to give them the advantages of why they want to do that. Where if I sat there maybe for a month and learned it, I would have a lot more, you know, or, 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 some, or got somebody on the phone that knows the benefits of working at an ice cream parlor, it would be a lot more profitable. And I should understand, you can't see something like this and then go out and try to sell it when you don't really have it in your heart, you know. You know, and the thing for me is, you know, there's been times where I wanted to quit the business in the beginning uh, because my heart wasn't uh, 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 convinced. I didn't have a convinced heart that I believed in stream 110%. When you have a, a, a heart that's convinced, that's passionate about something, it will find ways to make things work, even through adversity. Because in my opinion, only those in life that have been tested and don't care about what other people think are the ones that have actually been giving glory in this world. So when you don't have a heart that's uh, – convinced you will find an escape. And in the beginning, a couple times I wanted to find an escape. Thankfully, thankfully, I stayed. And now, even if I have a horrible month, let's say, where, you know, uh, last year there were some really crazy months where people were waiting for the cell phone to launch and my business was on pause. And not once did I ever think about quitting because I have, I have a committed heart. My heart's committed to the company. My heart's committed to the people that are listening to this right now. And that's very important. So, you know, exude that when you're talking to people. Exude your why. Exude your passion. Exude your, you know, confidence and uh, let them understand this is not a fly-by-night thing. You're doing something that you want to better yourself, you want to better the world, and you want to help people, and you're offering them an opportunity. It might be for them, it might not be for them. So when your list is being made, you want to talk about uh, your, to yourself, like, who do I know that's credible? Who do I know that's influential? Oh, I know, I know somebody who's a doctor. Well, most people will listen to a doctor. They'll sit with somebody. If a doctor says to you, listen, I have something I want to share with you, they're going to say, okay, where, when, when you want to meet. They're not going to, they're not going to ask. So people like that are great to have in the business because they can really set a lot of appointments. Um, and if you don't have somebody, if you're not credible, then find somebody who has credibility. Uh, people will still sit with you. What I'm just saying is uh, I've seen people who are high up in positions in life that can fill a room with 100 people, and that's pretty powerful. I couldn't do that when I first started. I could do it now. So have it, make sure you look for people that have positive attitudes. You don't want people with negativity. They're going to contaminate the rest of the team, or they're going to say something negative in a meeting and, and set off the whole entire mood. Uh, somebody like that, you might want to meet them, but meet them alone. People that are financially motivated, people that are maybe looking for residual income or uh, looking for you know, entrepreneurship, who understand the value of paying $375, they are buying an asset, they're not buying a TV, they're buying something that could actually change their life. The business is willable and sellable and transferable. And uh, people that have the enrollment fee, uh, I believe that a lot of people have it. They just don't see the value of it. And that's why it's important to show somebody the presentation prior to telling them it's 375 Because when you tell me something, when my mom told me it was $300 to join, I told her there's no way I'm ever paying $300 for a business. But once I saw it, I threw my credit card on the table. And right now, I, I pay $30,000 for this business if you ask me, okay? So 
you have to show them the value of it before you show them the price. And uh, some people will go and buy sneakers on you know Facebook like crazy, and you're thinking, wow, they don't have money to do the business, but they have money to buy crazy sneakers. That's because their mindset is not in the right place. You know, uh, if you ever notice, I watch like I don't watch TV, but anytime I ever watch TV. People that won the lotteries were never doctors, lawyers, accountants, entrepreneurs. There was always somebody who needed money because people that make a lot of money are not looking for a free lunch ticket. They're not looking for they're not looking to plant seeds, no cultivation, and just harvest. Okay, those are people with the wrong mindset that play the lottery. <clears throat> Don't be wrong. I played it to have fun. <clears throat> It'd be fun to actually win it, but I'm not playing it every day. It's like once a year. I mean, it was a crazy amount for fun. So, uh, if you play the lottery, no offense, but I'm just telling you. It's the mindset. They have the wrong mindset. Sometimes getting them around positive people and getting them to understand, maybe to read the right book or to watch the right video with the right mindset can help change their mindset. And you'd be surprised then they might think differently. But some people you can't really change, guys. And all I can tell you is the move from that. So let's take a look at what's next here. We have uh, the first phone call. So the goal in this business is to set the appointment. I'm going to tell you right now, if you master the invitation and set the appointment, you will win. Whoever sets the most appointments makes the most money. Okay, my allergies are bothering me, by the way, guys. I have the air conditioner off here, uh, which helps <clears throat> because uh, it's too loud. So I apologize for my voice being scratchy. It's been really uh, crazy with the pollen here. So the goal is to set the first appointment. Uh, again, who sets, whoever sets the most appointment wins. I've set more appointments than most people. And that's why I am a top 15 money earner. I've mastered the invitation. I've built rapport with people. I became a good listener. I find ways to incorporate it. Somebody was supposed to come to me and say they didn't come. Hopefully they're coming tomorrow. All I said was, look, I know you're super motivated. I see you looking at my stuff on Instagram. You like some of my posts. Um, we are starting a Spanish meeting this week. Uh, we need some more Spanish leaders. Uh, the Spanish community is going to be a very large community for mobile wireless, which is what I'm doing. And I think you'd be great at inspiring people. Would you be interested in helping people? Would you be interested in being a leader who can help speak Spanish in presentations? He was like blown away. He was like, absolutely, okay? If I would have said, hey, man, you want to make money with electricity and, 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 and you know, life essential services, and he was like, nah, I'm good, okay? <clears throat> so it's experience of knowing what to say to who, okay? And avoid the value of death. The value of death is when you basically uh, mix the invitation with the presentation. Your job is to invite. If you're presenting while you're inviting, you're doing the wrong thing. Let the invitation, you be the invitation, let the presentation. So you be the, be the um, messenger uh, not the message, okay? Is that correct? Yeah, you be the messenger, not the message, okay? Um, so you're going to invite and let the presentation do the work for you. So sometimes you notice that when somebody walks into a room, if they have no confidence, they have, a, they have bad posture, they're not enthusiastic about life, people really don't want to do business with them. Guys, you're really selling yourself. If you're somebody who is coming across and people don't want to listen to you or they don't want to do business with you, you have to ask yourself sometimes, you know, what do I got to do to improve myself? Maybe I got to read some self-help books. Maybe I got to watch some videos. Maybe I got to change my posture, change my, my, my whole, you know, branding of who I am. So you don't, shouldn't have to do that, but what I'm saying to you is sometimes, you know, uh, we do have to work on ourselves, okay, to improve ourselves. If we're a five and we join this business, we're going to prospect five. So if we can master uh, the mundane activities and start thinking positively and start, you know, doing those mundane things like reading a book, going to a meeting, getting a phone call, and improve ourselves to a seven or eight, guess what? We're going to start attracting seven or eights. So be enthusiastic, have a great posture about yourself, and have a sense of urgency. I believe that we all attract what we have in our life uh, by our thinking. I think if you have positive thoughts, you attract positive people into your life and positive results. If you have negative thoughts about how much money you owe to your credit card or how much you don't have a nice house, you don't have a nice car, you attract more negativity and more bad things happen to you. So keep that in mind. You know, uh, if you want to change your life, you have to change your thinking. And a lot of times, you know, in life, it's not the problem that's the issue. It's the attitude towards the problem. And people can see right through that. People, when they see me and they talk to me, they realize this guy has something different about him. He, he has something that I want, and there's a, there's, a, there's a confidence and energy about him that I think uh, – I want to have in my life so I can have the same things he has, okay? Now, the invitation. How would you like to make, get paid on thousands of mobile energy bills every month? Uh, I apologize for saying this, and I, I, I don't stream to get mad at me, uh, but I'm going to keep it real. I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't, I, don't, I don't think that would interest me if somebody told me that, especially with uh, people thinking they know already my energy. Um, how would, have you ever heard about how you can get free mobile for energy? That's a great one, okay? Uh, you know, how much do you pay for your mobile? 100 bucks a month. I, I get free mobile. How do you get free mobile? 
Let me show you. How much did Energy Bill last month? Do, or do, you, do you pay a mobile bill? Yes. How much was it? 185. Wow, I actually get free mobile. You do? Yeah. Or you know what? I used to have a bill for 180, but now I cut it in half, and I have the same great service. It's a new exciting company. Really? You know, let's get together. I have a business deal. Get together. I have a business deal is good if you're a, somebody who's already in business and you have some credibility. But if you don't, if you've been working, let's say, I don't know, as a, let's say you've been working at Amazon in the warehouse for 20 years, and somebody knows you for that. Now all of a sudden you're hitting them up that you have a business deal. They might be like, I don't know what kind of business this is. You know what I mean? So no offense, anybody. Amazon's a great company. I'm just using an example as you can't, you know, have a job all your life and then try to sell a business to somebody if you're not a business. So my 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 thing would be let's get together. I have something exciting I want to share with you. Uh, it might be for you. It might not be for you. Is it one of those pyramid things? I know exactly how you feel because I felt the exact same way, but I found that it actually isn't a pyramid thing. It's actually a really great business model. Actually, Warren Buffett, who's a billionaire, actually uh, owns one of these companies that, are, that do the same type of business model. Um, and uh, you have um, Donald Trump who actually endorses a company very similar to this. Really? Yeah. Okay. Boom. You know? Would you be open to learning how to make extra money if, I didn't, if it did not interfere with your current job? That's important because people don't want to interfere with their current job. They don't realize they can become financially free with this yet. They don't understand it yet. So, you know, you can go, let's say you go to Bed Bath & Beyond. Somebody's giving you great service. You can say, you know what, I've had the best service today that I've ever been given this week. And um, I was wondering if you keep your garage open because I think I have something for you. Um, that if it didn't, it, that it wouldn't affect your current job and it actually help you and it would, you actually might be a help to my company, stuff like that, guys. You know, on Saturday night I was at a birthday party. The waitress was great. I wasn't gonna even prospect her because I was relaxing. And then just to show the rest of my team how I did it, she basically came over. Actually, I called her over. I said after she after I paid the bill and the tip, I said, you know what? I was thinking. I said, um, you have a really great personality and uh, I, it seems like you really like what you're doing. I said, I was talking to my business partners here. We all actually own our own business. Uh, so this guy here owns an alarm company. She owns a daycare. This one owns a hairstylist salon. This one owns a, a massage company. This one owns a mobile, a mo- I mean, an uh, automobile company. But we're all friends through one common link. We actually all do a side business that's been really exciting and profitable. And we actually think that you might actually be somebody who would actually uh, be really good for us to have in our business. I assuming that you probably like what you do from your personality, but I'm assuming that if you could also make the same exact money that you make now without having to work Saturday nights at 11 p.m., you probably would like that, wouldn't you? She said, yeah, absolutely. She said, I actually work two jobs. I said, would you be willing to give me your email? I think I could send you something that you can take a look at. It might be for you. It might not be for you, but if it is for you, it actually would be a, a ball game change in your life. And she actually gave me her email. And uh, that was on Saturday. I haven't sent it to her yet. I've been very busy. I'm not going to sweat people. I give it a couple of days, and I'll write to her and say, hey, you know, I've been really busy uh, with my business. It's been exploding, um, but here is what I promised you, and I hope you take the time to look at it, and if you have any questions or if you're interested at all, please let me know. If not, you know, no big deal. I'll see you again sometime when I come to the restaurant. I'm not going to tell her what it's about. I'm maybe tell a little bit about myself, how it helped me, but that's it. I had a young lady who sold me flowers last week. Um, she, there was a specially challenged man who probably was um, – I'm not sure what was wrong with him, but he kept repeating himself, and he was really difficult, and she did a really good job with him. I was really impressed, and I said to her, you know what, uh, do you own this? Uh, it was like an outside flower shop. Do you own this? She said, no, I don't own this. I manage it. I said, you know what's really crazy? I said, you're like, what, 22, 23? Yeah, I'm 23. I go to college at Lehigh, but I'm going for business. I said, you know what, I think I might have something that you might want to take a look at because you seem like you're really motivated because I am very motivated. I said, I'm going to send you a video. I want you to watch this video, and if it's, you think it's something that, you can do, let me know, because I think uh, somebody with your motivation would be really good in my business. And I'm going to write to her and say to her, I still haven't wrote to her either. I'm going to write to her and say, I've been really busy. I was, in, I was away. Uh, my business is booming. Thanks for the flowers. The flowers look great. I want to tell you that I'm really impressed with how you dealt with that gentleman who uh, seemed to have some special needs. You were really patient with him and very respectful. And that's really what caught my attention about you. Somebody like that definitely needs to be out in public helping more people. And I think that you could um, teach others a few things. And here is what I wanted to show you. And that's it, guys, okay? That's very simple. Now, how do we show the business plan? One-on-ones, two-on-ones, what does that mean? That means that you go and play, push play on the DVD and you show somebody the video. Two-on-one means you, another associate, maybe somebody above you in a higher position, shows the business plan to somebody, let's say, at Panera Bread or Starbucks or at your house or at a lunch or at lunch break. Stream social events, a stream university, 
Ignition, the event coming up in October, a Super Saturday event, uh, the corporate event, uh, online webinars like this, stream marketing system, which is great. The website video is a great first look, okay? And then we're going to invite them, get in front of the information. Uh, maybe a home meeting would be great after that with more people or a meeting with people, and then eventually get into a larger event and create culture, okay? The larger events are exciting because they're incubations for self-development. There's positive peer pressure there, seeing other people achieve awards. You have uh, thousands of hours of information that's been tested for many years uh, there at your disposal in, in a condensed time period in two or three days. You can learn a lot in two or three days. And you're going to see here after the presentation, you can ask them, what did you like most about what you saw? When you say, what do you think, that leaves room for negativity uh, as an answer. When you say, what did you like most about what you saw, it doesn't leave room for the ability to have a negative comment. What do you want to learn first? Well, you know what? I'd like to learn more about the mobile. Okay, well, we can do that right now. Let me call somebody or let me show you more about the mobile. How soon do you want to start making money? Um, I want to start making money as soon as possible. Okay, well, let me ask you this. What, what would make you happy monthly? Uh, I don't know, maybe 1000 bucks a month. Okay, 1000 bucks a month. Um, how many hours a week would you be willing to put in uh, each week to make 1000 bucks a month? Well, if I could make 1000 bucks a month, I'd be willing to put four hours a week into this. Okay, well, how many months would you be willing to do that? Well, I'd be willing to do it for six months. Okay, well, you know what? I actually think that if we get you started now and we get you trained and we get you qualified and we, you put in four hours a week for six months, we can definitely make you a passive income of $1,000 a month. I believe we can do that. If they say, well, I want to make ten grand a month, I want to put a half hour a week into it, that's where you stop and say, wait a minute, you know, I can help you here. We have to have more realistic goals. Can those things be done in the future? Sure. Because, guys, network marketing is pretty, it's pretty interesting. You know, when you first join, you put a lot of time into it. You're not getting paid sometimes. And then eventually, you don't put any time into it. You get paid a lot. So it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty interesting how that works out. Um, keys to success. Success in anything in life is immediate action, taking immediate action, uh, plugging into a system. You can't go up if you don't show up. I don't care who you are, how good you are, anything else. If you don't plug into a system, uh, the system will not work, and you won't work, okay? Be coachable. You might be great in anything else, but don't let the ego stop you from being coachable. Have realistic expectations. Think long-term. As soon as I joined this business, in my opinion, I didn't join a business. I don't, a business. I don't join anything, by the way, guys. I launched things. So uh, I launched a business, and I compressed a lot of time into a short period of time. That's what I really did. I did a 90-day blast. If you want to know how to do a 90-day blast, go to my website on YouTube. Um, under my name, and you guys are asked somebody who sent you here to get my name, and you can go to YouTube and you can see how to sponsor 20 people in 30 days. It's about an hour video, um, and I think it says beast mode on the actual um, uh, picture of it. So uh, I basically did a 90-day blast. That 90-day blast to this day pays me as much money as what I used to make at my job just those 90 days, and I did another 90-day blast, and I got myself to. Um, <laughs> a pretty substantial amount of income. I decided, you know what, I'm going to keep doing these 90-day blasts. I did six 90-day blasts in a row, about 18 months. I took about maybe a three- to four-day break halfway through each of them, and I became number 18 money earner by doing six blasts in a row. So uh, that was just taking immediate action, you know, for 18 months. And uh, what I did in college for four years doesn't even pay me right now, and this still pays me. People ask me, how much money did you make your first month? I don't know. I'm still getting paid on my first month, okay? And that is the training that you can share with people uh, to get started, okay? We're going to have no's. We're going to have no-shows. We're going to have cancellations. We're going to have people that promise to join and don't. We're going to have people that avoid us. Uh, we're going to have people that say they don't have the money, they don't have the time. It's a pyramid scheme. These are the basic seven or eight things you will deal with forever, meaning there will be never anything more, really. These are the seven things. Um, if you can handle these things and get immune to them and not allow yourself to get emotional about it and realize that a bad day is a bad day. It's not, it's not the future. It's not your reality forever. It's just you had a bad day in the business. And you're going to have a good day, and uh, you've got to stick around with it. You've got to stay in the game for people to see that they're watching you and paying attention to you, okay? You don't need a co-signer for your dreams, and if you allow the opinions of others to upset you, uh, you're going to find, you know, if, if you worry about what other people think about you guys, their opinions are going to have more confidence in their opinions than your own opinions. The poor man is the man who lives life all of other people's permissions and opinions. And it's sometimes tough because it's tough to get rejected. But I'm telling you right now, uh, you get a little bit of thick skin in this business and realize that you want to go out there and actually look for no's. Because if you go out there and get 100 no's, you're going to find 10 yeses or 20 yeses. So I go for a no. I'm, I'm looking for no's because every time I get no's, I get a yes. 
the change of the mindset. Uh, and if you're sitting there going, well, I'm not MD, I don't, I don't have, I'm, I, can't, I don't have RD, or I don't have all my customers, I, don't, I can't sponsor people. Stop saying that and start saying, I'm going to be MD, I'm going to be RD, I'm going to find customers, I'm going to find business partners. The universe is going to open up to me. It's going to attract those things to me. They're going to come to me because I'm putting out positive vibes. And there's people that are putting out positive vibes and, and, and thoughts have energy. Each human being that's listening to this tonight can actually light up their whole entire city with their body's power, really, if you could. You know, we feel like we're solid things, but really we're very transparent. I mean, we can see through, you can put the flashlight through your, you know, your skin and you can see in there. And my point is if we didn't have a shell, we'd be just an energy form, energy so I believe energies feed off each other. I believe that we attract the people in our lives. It's not a coincidence that everybody in my entire life is a positive person. Everybody in my entire life is making money. Everybody in my entire life has, uh, is, is wanting to help people. That's not a coincidence. I attracted those things by my thoughts. If I started thinking negative, negatively and started getting around negative people and doing negative things, next thing you know, my whole life would be negative. So uh, this business is more than just, you know, reading Go Pro by Eric Worre and understanding how network marketing works, understanding how you think, how you work, and, and trying to find the best of you. Uh, I'm going to recommend some books here at the end. I'm going to let it go at this. Uh, my favorite book right now is two of them. is uh, The Slight Edge by Jeff Olson. It's a great book to teach you how to master the mundane activities that successful people do. Uh, if you like books that are more engaging and uh, you don't really realize you're actually learning, you're going to like The Traveler's Gift. It's really interesting. The guy goes back in time and meets like King Solomon and Harry Truman and Annie Frank, who was a prisoner in the German uh, Holocaust. And you don't even realize you're reading a book because the stories are so cool. And you learn uh, really some really deep lessons. But that's um, The Traveler's Gift by Andy, Andy Andrews. Uh, the Magic of Thinking Big by Dr. David Schwartz and The Charge by Brandon Bouchard are two books that changed my mindset and the way I think. And um, that's leave it at that. Leave it at those four books. You can listen to them in the car. You can get them on audio books. You can sometimes Google them on YouTube and find somebody that has them on YouTube. Or you can go buy them through Amazon. Um, and, guys, uh, you know, reading 10 pages of a book is not going to change your life at all. But if you read 10 pages of a book every day for a year, that's 3,650 pages of a book. Today I read a book, uh, Where's My Money by Robert Kiyosaki. I learned so many things about investing and and about mutual funds and real estate and, and insurance. And I mean, it was amazing. I mean, I've known a lot of these things, but I, I just reinforced it because I've read similar books already in the last few years. So uh, it really got me excited, got me focused to go buy another rental property and to really uh, understand what I'm looking for out there uh, and, and to be a smart investor, not a rookie. So thank you for listening to this training. I hope it helps you and it helps your team. I wish you guys a very successful uh, rest of the year. I'm excited. We're very blessed to be able to have this opportunity. Uh, but an opportunity without us doing anything is just an opportunity. And, uh, you know, this is an opportunity of a lifetime, but you have to seize it and a lifetime of the opportunity. I hope you guys do. Thank you for listening to this tonight. Have a great, great rest of the year.